let's get started. As I was thinking in my thinking chair, I was just thinking about how wonderful the tea ceremony is. And as I started to dig into it, there's a lot of meaning and a lot of steps and, you know, it's tradition. It's an art form, right? So I wanted to run through that. But tomorrow I wanted to take you, I'm, I'm re really writing my own tea ceremony. Uh, because one thing, I'm not Japanese, never been to Japan. I study Japanese. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not Japanese. <laughs> As you might get tell. Um, also, uh, I would like to go there, but I haven't. I, I like to be part of a tea ceremony. When I go, I will be. I mean, I, I'll, I'll do a tea ceremony, but uh, I've never seen one physically. So, but Japanese home style tea ceremony. I'll take a sip of this. Uh, you get a lot more out of a bowl than you do a cup. So that is awesome. I got, mm, I'm going to be hyped today. <laughs> so as I was talking, tea ceremony. <clears throat> tea is considered an art form. Yeah. And the tea ceremony is focused on serving, you know, serving your guests. Uh, it's focused on the guest serving them uh, the surroundings, the calmness, the attention to details, you know, the simplicity and the appreciation of my favorite Ichigo Ichie, being in the moment. So there's some preparation that happens. So, uh, you know, of course you send out invitations and everything and the people are coming but the most important thing that I got out of it um, out of the preparation part was that the host it needs to be focused on being in harmony with their soul and when I thought about that I was like wow that, that, that's something right there you need to be in harmony with your soul before you can have this ceremony so uh, I added this part to it. Conflicts, anxiety, worry, everything that pulls you into the past, you know, that sadness and depression, those things pull you into the past because you're dwelling on uh, things that happened. Or all of the things that tries to pull you into the future where you start to worry and you have anxiety and things that haven't even happened yet, that's in the future. Those things that pulls you this way or that way, you know, you have to drop them. You got to be in the now. So that's what Ichigo <clears throat> Ichie is all about, being in the now. And your soul needs to be in harmony with, its, uh, with, with you before you can start to, uh, uh, you know, pull people in. And... On the outside of that, the guests need to prepare too. And when they get there, they have to leave all their things behind, all their stuff, all the materialistic thoughts uh, and concerns and focus on having a pure light in the now heart to enjoy the, uh, the ceremony too. So everybody has to be in the now now I, I've always I've said this for weeks now that <clears throat> it's a it's a it's a it's really a harmony between the two that's why I enjoy my uh, alone time with God and I sit in my thinking chair I sip a little tea and the conversation really takes place of now I, I, and this is how I feel I think that since you're in the now and your mind is clear from the past and the future 
and you're in the now, that moment, he's able to communicate. And it's not necessarily through T, because you can still do this without T. You can still get into a frame of mind of where it's just you and God or the tea master or whoever you want to commune with. So that communication is important. Uh, Now, here's some, some things that they said that needs to happen before the actual guests come in. Uh, they have to wait for the host to announce that they are ready to be received. Now, isn't that interesting? Uh, I know we bust in the throne room of God. It's like, hey, I need this, 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 this. I need, 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 need. <laughs> but in an intimate setting, in an intimate time between you and God. We wait for the host to announce that they're ready for us. That's where I I get in my thinking chair and I think, okay, I have to clear my mind and I have to focus on, hey, what are we going to talk about? It's all you guys. What what, what do you want to talk about? So the focus is off of me and on to him. And if you are having a, if you're having a guest, the focus is for the guest. The focus is the host, but the host, the focus is the guest. You see how that works? And they're both in a in a state of respect and anticipation of not not anxiety, but anticipation of we're going to be together and we're going to enjoy each other in this moment. So uh, another cool kind of thing is when they come into the room where you're having a ceremony they have to wash their hands and this is symbolically removing dirt and dust off the out of the outside world uh, that's awesome because that you know you're you know and I guess in mostly all cultures uh <clears throat> Washing your hands, washing your body, uh, baptism. You're leaving the old things behind and you're coming in to the room clean, ready to, you know, ready to, ready to enter. And we, they bow to the host as a sign of respect. So we come into a place clean and pure. And I know you can't clean yourself but symbolically you can you you can prepare yourself to be in the presence of uh that ichigo ichie okay now the host starts with the starts the ceremony by cleaning everything which is always interesting to me uh and they clean the utensils and uh in front of the guest and they do it in a a way that uh, that's graceful and aesthetically pleasing to the eye so they're not bored you're not like couldn't you just do this before we started it's an actual process and enjoying that process just think they're doing this in front of you to serve you the host is cleaning the tools and the and the bowls and Every preparing everything in front of you to serve you. So don't take that lightly because it takes a lot of work. And the matcha is prepared. I have this little thing, and they'll uh, froth the uh, matcha and then pour water in it and things like that. But like I said, everything is prepared for you. Um, The bowl is presented to the guest and they take it and usually there's some kind of, well, I've read that a lot of bowls have a front. Now, 
if you look at this bowl, this bowl pretty much looks the same almost all around except for this spot right here. Yeah, right there. So I would assume that it's the front of the bowl. You're given the front and then you turn it and then you look at, I mean, you're, you're looking at it and now the front of the bowl is facing you. And you do this to really, you remember you're using all five senses, you're touching the bowl, you're looking at it, and then you're, you're also appreciating the bowl. Now, the bowl was given to you, you're appreciating something that was given to you. And you inspect it and you take a sip. And then after that, you wipe the bowl and you uh, hand it to the next person. Um, after everybody's been past the bowl, uh, everybody's had tea, uh, there's small little, I say snacks. <laughs> uh, sometimes there's a meal, sometimes there's sweets. And you get the sweets before and after. Uh, because a lot of times the, the tea is uh, bitter sometimes. But the host then takes the time and cleans it again in front of the guests. And I think this is really just a, uh, a symbol of how everything is about you. Now for the guests, everything is about the host and being served and a respect for the host. But for the host, everything is about the guest and serving and, you know, the actual communication between you and the other person. But there's details and all this. Uh, I got this off a of teologist website and um, I left the little, uh, linked in the in the little uh, description I wanted to just run through that real quick just to show you you know hey we have these are some of the steps that's going on in the Japanese tea ceremony which you know like I said before that's just that uh, tomorrow we'll get into my version i'm gonna do my version and you know doesn't have all of the little you gotta do this you gotta you gotta turn the bowl and stuff like that but there's a lot of meaning from my point of view that i took away from it and put it in there and so you can enjoy uh the tea your company and the moment all right so well <clears throat> it's hard to come by with a big old bowl but hey i i, I enjoyed it i enjoyed being with you uh ichigo ichie truly all the time next time we'll do this my way all right have a great day come by <laughs>